Hi, it's Cindy, that crafting lady. Today we are making three unusual snowman DIYs. So let's get right into it. For our first project, I'm going to use these three pumpkins that I got at Dollar Tree. So this is definitely going to be an unusual snowman. I'm going to take the tops off of two of them and get rid of these little taggies. And um, I think there's a couple little excess um, pieces of burlap kind of sticking out here and there. These are very rustic snowmen. So we're going to get just that little extra cut off. Make sure there's none on any of the others. There we go. All right, let's clean this stuff up and get moving on this. This is going to be real easy, guys. All right, so we are taking our three snowmen and we're going to glue them one right on top of the other. And I'm just using my hot glue gun, my Sherbonder. Stick with the best, use the Sherbonder. And put pumpkin number two on top. Hold it down till it sets up pretty good. And let's go with the third pumpkin and get that up on top. See, it looks kind of cute. You can make them all line up the same way, or you can um, off-center them, whatever looks good to you. This is your project. Well, this is my project, but if you choose to copy it, it'll be your project. And if you do, I would love uh, for you to um, tag me so I can see what you've done with it. I mean, you could use the other type of pumpkins, the ones that aren't fabric, and you could have painted them any color you want. Oh, I don't think I let that sit long enough. All right, let it sit there. Get it on there nice and good. I guess if I wanted to, I could have probably used both um, E6000 and um, the hot glue. So I've got these little um, black and white bead buttons. Those are not beads, they're buttons. I'm going to use two of the medium-sized ones for eyes, and I'm just going to, again, hot glue them on. Get those on there. Isn't he cute? He'll look better when he gets his whole face on, I'm sure. There we go. Now, remember, when you're working with hot glue, it can get hot. So make sure you have um, a little bowl of water um, nearby so that way you can cool off your fingers if they do get warm. Um, or you could use one of the little spatulas to um, hold things down. I didn't grab one when I was working on this, so I didn't use it. Now I'm going to take these really small little black buttons and um, give them a mouth. So I just made a little mouth shape with my glue gun and I'll just add all the, I'll add five buttons. So I put the middle one in and then two on either side. And I have another white button stuck to me. Isn't that great? Oh well, we'll get it off there. And one more to finish off his mouth. Now, I couldn't find any carrot buttons. So what I decided to do was just clip a petal off of one of my fall flowers from Dollar Tree and um, just cut it into a carrot shape and then glue it on. I might have wanted to make it a little bit bigger, but I think it ended up really cute in the long run. So just a little bit of glue where I want to put his nose. And we're just going to set that right on there. Look at there. Oh, I put the fat end the other way. There we go. Now we got to go in the right direction. Perfect. Now we just got to get the glue strings off of it. I really have to buy that baby bottle brush so I can try it and let you guys know if it worked. There. So far, so good. Let's put some buttons on for his um, buttons. We'll actually use buttons for his coal pieces for his front. I think I'm going to put three. So we'll just put little dots where I want them and then add the buttons. Yep, three. Perfect. So put them in the glue before it sets. We have a little time, but not a lot. And again, if your fingers are really sensitive, go ahead and use um, 
the little makeup spatula or something or the little plastic finger covers those work really well too now I think he needs a scarf so I've got this uh, red and black checked ribbon and I'm just gonna wrap it around his neck tie it in a little knot and then cut it to the right length that I want his bow here his scarf to be so nothing big and we'll cut it down and I'm going to cut it at a little bit of an angle just to give it a little look and cut the other side kind of to match. There we go. And I want it to kind of sit in one spot and not move around a lot and not be able to come off. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue so the scarf stays in the position um, that I have it right now. All right. What else does our snowman need but a hat? But before we do that, today's video is Unusual Snowman. It's a DIY open playlist, and it's hosted by Six Kids and a Glue Gun and Crafting in Mimi's World. So make sure you check out their channels. They'll be listed below, along with the playlist with all the other videos um, that people are going to be putting up. I'm sure you're going to get some great Unusual Snowmen DIY ideas for your Christmas. So, all right, let's give our snowman a hat now. Okay, so for his hat, I'm gonna be using um, a part of an old ribbon spool. I cut it down in oh, about half so I'm just using the one circular half and the middle and a piece of Dollar Tree felt. So I just cut the felt so that it would be big enough to cover the um, ribbon spool on all sides. So right now what I'm doing is running a hot a bead of hot glue around the top of his hat. And I'm going to kind of center the felt over it and um, just kind of push it in there until it sets. And then all I'm going to do is add some hot glue and push the felt down until it covers the whole um, hat. And then I'm going to run a bead of hot glue around um, the bottom after I cut off the excess and apparently lost some of my video there, so I apologize. But that's all I'm doing right now is just gluing down the edge to the bottom um, of it so that it looks like a nice, clean, finished edge on his hat. I'm just pleating as I go around. Nothing technical here, guys. And that is basically it for his hat. And now I will glue it to his head. So again, we're just going to add some hot glue, but this time I'm just going to add it right to the um, ribbon spool area. And I didn't even bother to take the um, top of the stem off the top pumpkin because... The hat had a hole in the middle and it just covered it right up. And there we go. He has a hat, but it looks a little plain. So let's give it some embellishment and take the rest of that little piece of ribbon that I had and I'm going to just wrap it around his hat. And I'm going to start it in the back with just a little dot of hot glue and then wrap it around. And when I get it over to the back, I'm going to cut it to length, although I'm giving it a little extra so I can fold it over um, so it looks like a nice, clean, finished edge. And I could have actually probably done that in front because I am going to add some greenery. Sorry, guys, about it being off the camera a little bit. It is um, a little hard getting used to this new setup, but I'll get it eventually. I promise you I will get it. So um, I got these little picks um, at Walmart, actually. They were like 97 cents, and they were kind of cute. Um, I think right now I am just going to use a couple of the little berries. So I'm just kind of pulling those apart. And they're stuck on there pretty darn good. And I want three of them. And then I think I mutilated one <laughs> as I was pulling it off. But that's okay. They were cheap and I'll use it for something else and one little leaf. So I will put the leaf on first where I think it'll go. Make sure I'm gluing down the right side. 
it's got a little extra stem there that I didn't need, so we'll get rid of that. Add some glue to the back and stick it on Mr. Snowman's hat. Just like that. And that's why I said I could have probably put that um, overlap in the front and it would have covered, the leaf would have covered it. But we made it a nice clean edge so it won't show. And then just glue all three of my little berries that I took off that same pick right at the base of the leaf. There we go. All three of them are in. And they look kind of cute. And that's it. There's our finished snowman. So for project number two, I got three wooden spoons. And yes, I got them out of my kitchen drawer. My husband laughed at me when I was rummaging through the drawer looking for some wooden spoons. But I rarely use these spoons. So I said, why not use them for a craft? So I've got my three wooden spoons and um, I just need a piece of parchment. I forgot to grab, but there we go. Um, I don't want to get paint on my um, nice little desk here. And all we're going to use is some uh, Folk Art Orange and Apple Barrel Black. And I need very little, so I'm just going to put a little dot of each color onto my parchment paper. And then we can go ahead and paint. That's it. So I'm going to take the back of a bigger brush. I'm sorry, I hit the camera there. We'll get it stopped. There it goes. All right. Well, there we are. And I'm just going to dip the back of it in to do my snowman's eyes. So it'll be nice and round. So dip again. There we go. And we're going to do all three snowman's eyes and get them done and over with right away. There we go. Two. And on to the third. Let's turn that one over and give him some eyes too. Perfect. And we'll just wipe that black paint off. Don't want to stain my brush. And then I'm going to take a nice little thin brush and I am going to give these three guys noses. And they need carrots. They need their nose. How else are they going to smell? So just however you want to put your nose on, you know, if you're making this craft, it's yours. So if you want it to go to the right, you do it to the right. You want it to go to the left, you do it to the left. Do you want it to go down? Do it down. Just give these guys some carrots. I love making these unusual snowmen. I am so glad that um, Six Kids in a Glue Gun and Crafting at Mimi's World um, is doing this challenge because I absolutely love it. So don't forget, check out the playlist and check out both of my hosts' channels because they are really good. So I'm going to just touch this one up with a little bit smaller of a brush. I just needed to give him a little bit more of a point to his nose. And him too, I think. Just a little more paint. It wasn't quite um, dark enough. And now we'll give our third guy here a nose. There we go. I am not an artist, guys. So as far as painting goes, doing it freehand like this, you're lucky it even looks like a snowman because I am just not a an artist and a freehand painter. Definitely not. All right, so I'm going to um, take the end of this little brush, and now we're going to give these guys some mouths. So, again, um, I usually like, I don't know why with snowmen, I'm thinking five is, you know, the way to go. So I usually do um, an odd amount. Because they say in flower arranging, you know, you need odd amounts. So I think snowman's mouth should be odd amounts too. But eh, if you think differently, that's okay too. Whatever you looks good to you when you're doing your crafts. But I like these. All right. And for a little bit more um, embellishment here, I'm going to take these um, just scrap fabric, really. All it is is homespun um, that I tore off of a bigger piece. And um, I'm just tying a knot. I'm not really doing anything fancy here. I'm just going to give these guys um, a little 
necktie, you know, a little scarf. They're out in the cold, right? Brr, snowman. Um, and then I thought about it. I probably should glue it on so it doesn't come off. So that's why I untied it. And we'll put a little dab of hot glue and then we'll tie it back up. And I think it will be great. All right. So we're just going to tie them on to all three of them. Put a little dab of glue and tie our little knots on there. And then um, just cut them to the length that you think they look good. Last one, get it all done. And that's it, guys. That is all three of our um, wooden spoon snowmen. And we are done with this project. I don't think they came out half bad. What do you think? Do you like this snowman better than the first? I don't know. I'm kind of liking it. Okay, for our last project today, I'm going to be using uh, three wooden beads in three different sizes and um, some black paper, some black apple barrel paint, some orange uh, folk art paint, and some Waverly white chalk paint. Um, the beads I got at BB Craft, so I am a BB Craft ambassador, so check that out. And of course, all the paints that I'm using in today's video are plaid products because I am a plaid ambassador also. So what I'm going to do is I just took another wooden spoon and um, stuck the bead right on the end of it so it makes it easier to paint and I don't get paint all over my fingers. So you don't want to sit here and watch me paint these beads. So we'll speed this up here. And that's all I'm doing is giving it a quick coat of the chalk paint. Um, nothing fancy here, guys. Just cover them up and then let them dry. And they dry wicked fast. Sorry, hit the camera again. All right, get it done. Almost done. All three painted up and get them drying and on to the next step. So while those are drying, we're going to make a little hat for our, our little bead snowman. I just cut off a piece that looked good uh, for the brim and then I'm just cutting out a circle. Well, actually the circle's the brim. The hat is the strip. Sorry about that. Now I'm just taking that strip that I made and I'm rolling it up into a little cylinder just like that and I'm going to hot glue that to um, my, or hot glue it shut so that way it doesn't unroll. Now I want to um, put my um, hanger on and it's like, wait a minute guys, I couldn't do it with the needle that I had. So I have to go and run and grab my hole punch. And then I just punch a hole into it. And then I figure out how much um, jute I'm going to need. And that's Dollar Tree jute. I put it through the um, hole that I punched. And now I'm running to grab a little crochet hook to pull it through the top part of that uh, spool that I made. A little extra hot glue and we added the um, brim to the top hat, top part of the hat. So now I'm going to put, now that my beads are dry, I'm going to stack them one on top of the other. And get that done. And then I'll put a little glue on the top and I will add his hat. Perfect. Look at that. He's all set. Now he just needs um, a face and a nose and some buttons. So we're just going to, again, um, use our little teeny um, paintbrush in the black, put on his eyes, put on his nose, put on his buttons, and then use our little orange paintbrush to give him a nose. And there we go. That's it. He's done. All right, guys, this is the final reveal. Um, I love all three of my projects. I hope you do too. Make sure to remember to check out the playlist for all the other wonderful, unusual snowmen ideas. And thanks again to um, Six Kids and a Glue Gun and Crafting in Mimi's World for hosting this great challenge. I hope you enjoyed these videos or this video, guys, and that you'll subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload more videos. And until next time, live fully, love deeply, and learn something new every day. Bye, guys.